Hello Techies, welcome to AI Brahma YouTube channel. My name is Ganesh. Today we are discussing about Automation Anywhere tool and how to create a first bot in Automation Anywhere and overview of Automation Anywhere. So if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. So directly we will go to Automation Anywhere tool. So this is the Automation Anywhere home page. So if you want to create a task bot first time, then this is a good video for you. So how we can create a task bot? So there is a two possibility. One is you can go with the explorer and here you have a create bot. So another possibility is you can go with the automation and you can create a folder from here. Okay. So you can give a folder name, description, path. So already I have created a folder as a new. So if you want to create a new task, okay, I will take my bots and here I will create a new bot. So this is a task bot. If you want to create a form like a user form, like website kind you have to create, then you can go with a form and process the particular process you, are, you want to follow. Then you can go with the process. In this video, I will take it as a bot. So this is a task bot how we can create it so i will give as a my first bot right and i will choose my particular path so where i need to save my particular bot so in the my bot choose and create you can give a description also for the better purpose so i am creating a task bot now right so my task bot is ready for available right ready for development now so here if you see, so if you click here, so you will get all the activities like explore, home, discovery, automation, activity, manage and administrations, correct? But so we are very much focusing about only automation uh, part, right? So that's why I, I will recommend you go to automation and here we have a different section, three different section you can see it here. In the left hand side, you will get variable action and triggers okay so where whatever the variable you want to create so that you can use a variable panel right so clicking on plus and you can create a variable and if you want to take any actions like message box prompt or any web services so you can search it here and drag and drop so that is a action panel and another we have a triggers like we have a hot keys service triggers this everything i will explain in our upcoming videos each and every command how much i can possible okay so everything i will explain you but for this video please remember in the left hand side you will get all the variables action and triggers and the middle if you you are seeing no so that is a workbench here we ha have to do the coding Okay, here also we have a three different section. One is a flow, list and dune. Flow is a diagramic representation uh, like a flow chart. List is a normal coding like row wise it will come, right? So that is a list wise and dual is both. So which one is uh, very easy for you then uh, for that one you can use it. So I will use always a list because uh, so I am using from my uh, past 10 years so I am using a row wise correct so that's why I'm, I will use only list and here if you see at the top you will have some properties right so one is a recording so recording we have a two tabs that I will explain in a different video how we can do the recording for the web activities okay so another one is search this is very useful for the searching the codes undo redo so that i hope you know better copy paste everything right so then next thing is in the right panel so you will get action detail so how it will look like so we will see so i will take message box in the action panel right and i will drag and drop into list so if you see in the flow it will show like this representation in the list it will show like this in the dual you will see both okay so now i want to give a message right so how we can give 
so i will add a message like bot this is a window title and which message you need this is my first bot in a and if you want to give a scroll then you can give a scroll also for that particular message pop up and if you want to close it five second you can use this one okay five second ten second this is dynamic so i don't want to close message box so just i'm saving and running the bot yes so if you see the top okay there we have a save means uh, unsaved means still it is in a not saved format so if you click uh, if you close the browser then uh, whatever you have developed it will be gone so that's why always check if it is saved mode then it is very good all your old activities saved so now we have got our message see if you see it here code and pop up enter the message box with the title is coming at the title at the top right bot and message box we are getting as like this right so whatever i have typed so that is came here so i will close this one so at the top you will get some of the options like debug run assistance save correct saved i have already told you what is assistance if you see it here so we have a clean coding right so if any error is occurred example i will take sample number okay so why it is coming error here message box always take a string variables right strings it will take but i am giving a variable as a sample number right how we can convert i will tell you dot to string but that is not required here so i am talking about the assistance now right so if any error comes into the picture in your code you will get a notification in your assistance see message box action one so this is the error you will get it in the assistance so you you can uh, like it, it will act as a chat bot once you will clear it so it will vanish from this assistance chat bot right so just i will make it as high right so another option is run so whenever you want to run the bot you can run it another option is debug so what is this debug so in the common coding language right so we have a debug option to check each and every line in a slow way right so that is a debug so if you click on the debug it will show like this here you will get start start over like uh, one by one if you want to execute one by one line then start over stop also you can do so these are all the things in the debugs so one most important thing is here you may get a question from the interviewer or in the advanced certification and master certification this question was there okay so what is the question is user in the debug mode and he want to change the code how we can proceed the next so this was the question asked in the master and advanced automation universe certification so please remember the question user is working in debug mode like running in the debug mode he want to change the some of the properties of the code like code he want to change it so what he can do next so here if you see in the debug mode you can't change any of the code correct properties you can't change the properties of the code because this is like gray outed right so how we can do the like changes in the code so if you come like exit the debug it will come as a normal way so answer was user should exit the debug and change the properties of the code so that's it please remember this question and the next thing is here you have a three dot here you will get some of the advanced feature of the automation anyway i will explain you one by one in a different video but just remember these are all the things we have in automation anyway right so please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get more AI related video from the basics to the advanced so i have created another 
video series for interview purpose just watch all the videos because that was awesome questions which is asked by some of the mncs and top uh, level uh, uh, people right so they have asked a uh, so many questions that i have combined and uh, made a videos to get the solution right please subscribe to the channel and get the benefit thank you very much all the best for your future